Hey everyone, let's find the missing angle when the two sides of the right angle triangle are already known to us. Okay, so we know that sine of any angle in this one angle C is missing. So sine of angle C will be the ratio of opposite side to hypotenuse. All right, now we will fill in the values. So sine of angle C is equal to what is the opposite side to angle C? It's 5. And what is the hypotenuse? 10. So sine of angle C is equal to 1 half. So now I need to see that at what angle sine takes the value of 1 half. So I know that half is actually sine of 30 degrees. So sine of angle C is equal to sine 30. That means angle C value is equal to 30 degree. Alternatively, you can do these steps like this also. If sine of angle C is 1 half, then angle C is equal to sine inverse of half. All right. So we will be using the sine inverse function. So angle C will come out to be 30 degree. Now, let's do the second one in which angle R is missing and the two sides are given to be 7 and 12. Angle Q is 90 degree. So, let's do it in the same way. Sine of angle R is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. All right. So, sine of angle R is equal to what is the opposite side to angle R? 7. What is the hypotenuse? 12. So, we again, we will be using the inverse function. So, angle R will be equal to sine inverse of 7 over 12. And for this, you need to use the scientific calculator. When you will plug in the values for sine inverse of 7 over 12, angle R would come out to be 35.7 degrees approximately. So, always remember, when you know two sides, always use sine inverse function to find the missing angle. That's all. Bye-bye.